going to assume we're all almost here. If you're not here, better be running up the stairs now. Um, we're going to get this started here shortly. Oh, Power Patrol late as usual. <laughs> right, yeah, the only HP unit. All right, first things first, Deputy, put up a cigarette for me, please. And, uh, cigarette. We're going to go ahead and start tonight's oh, briefing. No. I was going to break out everyone. the bongos, uh, but I was like, nah, I'm shift, good. Uh, we're going to be spreading out throughout the whole city of Los Santos. We're going to have units all over the place. We have multiple subdivisions, multiple divisions in-game available for you guys to use. We also have myself as an active supervisor tonight, as along with a couple other supervisors that will be available for your assistance. Um... Anything you might feel, feel that you might require a supervisor on, feel free to call one of us out. We are here to help you, and uh, we're, we're only here to help the situation and defuse a situation that might require a supervisor. Uh, we have SCU. They're going to help us out with any stolen vehicles, drug calls, anything of that nature. So if you have anything of that nature, call them in. Um, they're available. As for Highway Patrol and County units, if a pursuit gets out of the city and into their jurisdiction, call one of them in to... Uh, get it uh, taken care of and you know they'll take you they'll take you over on primary and uh, they'll continue out that in their jurisdictions other than that let's keep it good clean and safe uh, make sure everyone's got uh, weapons and ammo make sure your vehicles are fully functioning and working be sure to check lights and sirens uh, it's been reported to me that a couple of the cruisers have uh, malfunctioning rear lighting so make sure all your lights is working that is very important especially when you're parked <laughs> outside the on a scene yep. <laughs> you don't need to get hit so uh, make sure your lights and sirens are working uh, don't forget to test the hazards because those are useful as well other than that that's all I got to pass it off to do uh, Corporal they got some yeah, they keep falling robot. down a tunnel yeah <laughs> 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 All right, one A one, one B seventeen. You're getting a little choppy there on the transmission. Um, <laughs> but yeah, we'll we'll just wrap this up. Just uh, like I said, pick your supervisors wisely in case we have to travel far. Um, we do have four on duty right now, so use them wisely. Um, dispatcher that's in here, just route us three supervisors together, um, just for uh, recording sake. All right. Will do. All right, ten four. I think we're good to go ahead and get out of here. I assume we're 1095. 10 4. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like, what kind, what kind of shit? God damn uh, it. 1095 yeah. reco- means we're recording for people. Oh, that I know what it means. No, I know you do. I'm talking about for oh, people okay. that don't know. So they would get the joke that it was just absolutely stupid. Look at this. <laughs> Look at <laughs> many <people>. lemmings. <laughs> it looks so good walking out like that, though. I feel like racing, though. Adam 27. Go ahead. 1041, 10 8. 10 4. All right, we are 10 8. I don't have a flashlight on this. Uniform, one freedom control. Get that scum. Go ahead. That's Go ahead street scum. 10 Forty-one. Activate PIU. Ten-four. Nine-one-one. Yeah, there's a, a car show going on at the uh, Yellow Jacket. I think it's a car show, but there's people getting kind of rowdy. I don't know if they're drinking and showing off or what, but things are getting a little, little out of hand. I think somebody's going to get hurt. Well, that's up in the county. Yeah. Okay. Um, what is the location? Uh, the Yellow Jacket, and uh, it's it's just just uh, by the uh, Sandy Shores Airfield. Okay, I'll be sending police that way. Thank you, sir. Please hurry up. I'm afraid somebody's going to get hurt. I'm kind of by the freeway. I'm going to just start heading towards the yeah, that's entrance. Right yeah, now. me too. Control to 1 Alpha 81. Go for 1 Alpha 81. Can you respond to the yellow jacket for possible intoxication at a car meet? Yeah, 10 4. Um, in route. All right, I'm responding to that fight in progress. I guess is what's going on at the oh, yellow it's a fight in progress now. No, That's it, a, how did it turn from I don't a know. car meet to a fight in progress? Possible intoxication a little bit in the middle. What the fuck? All right, I'm I'm just now exiting Sandy Shores. Yeah, I'm about to do the same. I'm gonna stage up. Wait for you guys. All right. I'm I'm gonna be uh, U.S. Route 68 just off one of one minute the, out. I'm probably yeah. not even. I'm staged down the street. All right. You'll see me once you head once you exit 
I'm on the side of the road on 68 and Cacklaw. Yep, got you right there. All right, we'll wait for you. All right. One out of one. All right. I'm going to roll up in on him on Code 3 style. Yep. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, All right, I'm with you guys. All right, let's in. do this shit. Yep. All right, let's do it. Adam 81, uh, 10 1. Pull out when you call it and will you just move, have moved me to. Yeah, 1 and 1 and uh, 27 need to be moved as well. That's a lot of cars. Oh, yeah. That's a lot of cars. Man, look at all these guys show up with lights. They really like this stuff. Yeah. Don't think that's all right, the case. Guys. We got called out because there was a possible fight or drinking or something. <laughs> we're not really sure at this point, so. Uh, well, there's everything, officer. <laughs> well, good, because we're hoping so or we're going to have to fire the dispatcher. So right now we're looking like we have you guys taking up a whole parking lot. That's not. Uh, it, it's a car show. That's not how it works, though. So, um. Well. What, it, well, it, it, it's what the owner of the bar said. Well, we're gonna make sure we clarify with that, and make sure yeah, everything's yeah, good he, with that. He, we're as long as we're out here buying beer and drinking it, he doesn't care how. Yeah, yeah but that's not a permit, man. Yeah. Yeah. That uh -huh. also is public intoxication when you're drinking outside of the mm. bar. Um. I'll make contact well, with the bar I, owner. I drink in the bar and I come out here intoxicated, but I mean. Well, I'm intoxicating myself out here. Eh, okay, that's fine. But I, also, I mean, really also, if uh, you're out, you're drinking in there and then you're coming out here and moving vehicles around too, that's uh, that's again not a good thing. Well, I mean, we gotta show off the power. That's fine, but you can't be doing it while you're drunk. So let's go ahead and have everyone stand uh, over here. Sir, you I mean, want to stop beautiful moving. cars, for, but um, why, why do you want to stand over here? We can all just huddle around and. Figure out what's going on. Oh, you want to, you want a picture taken? Or we got a photographer here. Do you guys clarify? Do we have someone in there clarifying about? Yeah, I talked uh, talk with the uh, bar owner. Can you step over here and talk with me real fast? Yeah, hold on, guys. All right. Yeah, I talked with her, and uh, basically they showed up, and they were like, "Hey, if as long as we are buying beer and all that kind of stuff, it was kind of a mutual negotiation that they could have cars here in the parking lot uh, and just hang out as long as they were dry, they were buying beer." But apparently, it got too big and it got out of her hands. And there's not a whole lot she can really do about it. I think that's why they called in. Called in. I, she didn't say she was the the caller, but I have suspicion she probably was. Okay. So what do you want? Do you, do we? Does she want them gone now, or do we it want sound, to keep yeah, them? Yeah, she's just stressed out about the whole situation because it got way out of hand. Way too many people at once. Even though they okay. were buying beer and they got drunk and they stopped buying beer and so on and so forth. Okay. Well, now we have an issue that we can't let the drunk ones drive yeah, away. I have, so. I have two yeah, ten fifty six no. over here. I hate to okay. fish out of a bar, but I mean, yeah, we it's like we almost need to checkpoint these guys hey, look, on the way out. Got an old, why don't you come over here and show these vehicles? Look at this old Crown Vic sitting over here. There's two of them. <laughs> All right. Well, at no. this point, at this point, we've got to ask that everyone clear out, especially if the bar owner at this time doesn't want you guys. How about we just have everyone clear out? You guys find a new location. Yeah. Sound good? Uh, I'm gonna show you how I can do oh, it. Oh, whoa! He just oh, struck me with his vehicle. Oh, he stop. struck the vehicle. He struck the. He's taking off. Yeah, he's, take, yep. yeah, he's taking off on us. One All taking right. off. We need additional 32s. Those look here. I'll call it in. Adam 27. Go 27. We've got a uh, 1080 in progress right now, but we need additional 32s. The Yellow Jack uh, for the uh, the the car meet going on. I have no updated 20. Nope. Um, right now, it's westbound U.S. Route 68. Actually, I'm not sure if it's westbound, but uh, it's U.S. Route 68 passing uh, the little town over here. All right. You're in Harmony? Harmony, yeah. All right. Updated location. Just turned on to a Joshua. Heading northbound at this time. We're doing over 104. Yeah, we're trying Harmony. to catch up to you. That's You're going fine. northbound Joshua? Yeah, northbound Joshua. We're going to be now turning so eastbound Joshua. Okay, correction. We're going on to... Um, nope, still Joshua. Yeah, we'll be east Joshua at this time. 
that we had to make was a left out of Leo. Uh, 101 Dispatch, Wimpong. sorry. 101 Dispatch, yeah. if we get a priority or we have a pursuit, I didn't know I was back in this channel. I apologize. Done. We got a pursuit okay. going through uh, uh, yeah, I didn't either, Sandy sorry. Shores right now. I'm going to be the only unit that's attached. I got true two trying to catch up at this time. Still yeah, East Adam Joshua, speeds of, speeds of about 100 miles per hour. Okay, that's probably why it's so difficult for us to catch you. We're doing 105. Uh, I'm getting uh, down to pretty low tank, so I'm going to need a secondary here soon. I believe I have visual on you. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna be uh, third. Adam 81 is going to be secondary in that. Boot. Call it out. Yeah, I'll take over a call out. Continuing East Joshua. Just cross Sea View. We're going to be out on the highway. Adam 27, show yep. me third. He's getting into another vehicle. It's going to be a black vehicle. Black rims, black window tent, unknown driver. Occupied times two. Southbound US Route 13. Black 9F. Black Audi 9F. Shots fired. Shots fired. 13. Oh, not on my screen. <laughs> sure about that? Yeah. Okay, they're shooting doing. at my vehicle. We got three units involved. If I can get an additional unit, um, possibly Highway Patrol, considering the fact that we are US Route 13 right now. Yeah, we just passed one. That was just south of the Sandy Shores exit. Yeah, Uniform 148, I can attach. 10 4, control Uniform 148, can you attach? Code 3 to the shots fired. US Route 13. You still call on uh, road bugs? Uh, yeah, we're continuing <laughs> US Route 13 now. I think we're actually on uh, I think this is actually 15, yeah. I yep. think we're actually going US Route 15. Update on the uh, suspects as they're shooting at vehicles as they pass. 10-4. All right, nope, we're continuing. US Route 15, southbound. 10-4, continuing US Route 15, southbound. Whoa. What? <laughs> what is this? I don't know what that gauntlet's doing, man. Oh my god. That was insane. Alright, we're hey, gonna be exiting. Exiting US Route 15. We're gonna be going eastbound on standby. 148 has ice. Substantia. Yeah, eastbound, southbound, Substantia Road. Speed's still over 85. Oh. Light traffic. Looks like we're heading back into the city. Maybe we can get a roadblock set up. 10 4, control to Bravo 26 and Bravo 17 if you guys could set it up for a roadblock. 2697, code 3. 10 4, control Bravo 17. Copies all. Uh, can you get back to 1020 at pursuit location? Uh, we're going westbound Fudge Lane. 10 4, Bravo 17 and Bravo 26, copy. 10 4, copy, clear. Southbound El Rancho Boulevard. I'm just going to focus innocence. on keeping up with them. You got a HP on scene too. If he wants to take primary, I'm going to uh, call in my fourth. Oh, shit. No northbound US Route 20. You good? Yeah, yeah I'm fine. Got to be number four now. 148 is going to be three. 
you want to call it out? Uh, yeah, Interstate 4, northbound. It is, it's not a 9F. Yeah, it's not. What is it? Uh, I don't know, black sedan, two-door. Yeah. I can get uh, him 28. HP if you want him to take over primary. 1028 28. Stand by. We Shit. can go ahead and get a black and white up at the top now. We got black and white in route code 3. We have one with us on scene. I believe it's 28 Brava Nora Sam, unknown on last three. All pass when ready. All right, we'll go ahead and stand by way for a clarification on the lead unit. Yeah, you're good to pass. Good. All right, 148 is primary. Adam 81 secondary. Continuing northbound, one Interstate third. 1. Adam 47 fourth, still. 2 6 17, gonna be fifth and six, respectively. Control 2 Alpha 27, are you guys headed back up towards county? Yeah, we're northbound Interstate 1 right now. 10 for Control 2, Charlie 27, and Charlie 80. Charlie, sorry, Charlie 68. Charlie 68. You guys can go on stage off of US Route 318, prepare to swap out with PD units. 10 for, uh, uh, I'm on North, uh, or I'm on Interstate 1 right now, I believe ahead of the pursuit. 10 for, prepare to swap out with PD units. 10 for, standing by on Tender Road. Waiting for pass. Charlie 27 responding. 10 4 Charlie 27. Come back over. Yeah, we're taking an unnamed road right now uh, off of Interstate 1, uh, dirt road going northbound. I'm going to kill my siren since we don't need it one right Bravo now. 26, you can break off. I'm attached. One. Uh, 1A1, one I'm going to have to go ahead and pull myself off. My vehicle's too low on gas. Yeah, I'm really low. We need to get a pit on this asshole. Tempo 1 off of 1, Bravo 26, go ahead and reattach. 10 4, 26, reattaching. Adam's uh, 27 is going to be third. 10 4, Adam 27, showing me third. He's picking up. He's stopping, he's stopping. He's stopping. Okay, stopping. I'm going to go ahead and try to get he's back up the there. 1070. 10 4, Alpha 1. Yep, 1070. All right, 1070, holy yeah, guys. Jumping over to guardrail, two mils. Yep, white. Sleeveless tattoos, black hat, uh, black hands. male, black shirt, blue jeans. Let's see. Let's your go hands. ahead and get a ten-one with the officers on scene. On the ground, on the ground, on the ground, all the way on the ground. Got one complying. We got one at gunpoint here. He's not complying. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna jump. Don't do it. I'll jump. Hands up. I swear to God, I'll jump. Hands Holy up. Cool. Keep your hands I'll up. I'll jump. Taser deployed. Shit. You guys got this guy then. This guy here, I don't know what his number. Shots were fired, so be careful. Yeah, don't shots move. were fired. Don't move, sir. We got one down. I the got your cover from up here. Bald male here. Have what, what, what's your number? Don't move. Right, we have one down. We have one I'm down. Passenger down. Ready. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and put some handcuffs on him, and we'll get medical attention out to him. Adam 26, we do have one uh, in custody. Yep. I got your right cover. Uh, Sheriff officer, if you want to go ahead and move in for that uh, cuff. Okay, what is it? 68. What, what, what the hell, man? That, Jesus go ahead Christ. and put your hands Can down by your side. Throw me down? All right. He's cuffed. There you go. Okay. Right, let's uh, make him custody. to the top. Yeah, we're good to walk. I got knocked down. Jesus Christ. No wonder I uh, 1A1 me. dispatch. We had uh, only two suspects. To see, uh, scenes code four at this time. We're going to finish the investigation. That sounded like SMG fire to you, didn't it? Uh, the whole time that they shot, it was only single shot rounds. Okay. Uh, okay. What it sounded like to me, yeah. All right. I got the handgun on this guy. And I I'll believe he hit fire. my vehicle with one of them, so we can compare the two. All right, sir. Follow me back to this, uh, back to the cruiser over here. Man, I, I'm trying. I've had a lot to drink. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing. Yeah, it's all right, man. Just take your time. Can I, uh, can I explain my side of the story, man? Were you the one that shot? Had officers? No, I was I wasn't the one that well, shot. Well, you got the gun in your hand. That was my passenger. Yeah. You, you have told a gun. Me to take it. Okay, so you both have guns. Oh, okay. No, he gave it to you. All right. Yeah. Well, so the passenger was shooting at us. Yeah, he was firing at you guys. Why did you flee I, from I, us? 
So, man, like, he called me up. That guy's my that guy's my buddy. And he's like, hey, man, can you come up at this cross street? Yeah. Next thing I know, he just jumps in my car and he tells me to floor it. Oh, yeah, I but it. you guys was, jumped out of that one and you jumped into this one. That's Grand Theft Auto. No, no, I was in this car. This oh, you were in car, that man. one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So who who was dri- who was driving the orange charger? Oh, that was the other guy, the passenger. The passenger. Okay, so what's not you? No, this yeah, is not me. the guy that I identified. This is right. this is his yeah, car. I have he, the passenger. The other here. guy jumped into this car right. right here. Yeah, your fled. buddy got Tay, so he's yeah waiting medical treatment for Can that. Can I get a unit up here to come pick this guy up? Where are you at? Well, I don't blame him. Up the hill. Okay, I'll, uh, I'm just gonna take your car up there, alright? Alright. Yeah, I'm happy. I appreciate you stopping whenever you had the option. But, I mean, you gotta realize, you can't be... You can't be running for the police, man. Well, I'm gonna be yeah. honest with you, man. I just met this guy, like, you know, a couple weeks ago through a mutual friend, and right. he had a gun on him and he, he told me like floor it and then he started shooting at you guys and I was so scared and confused man I'm gonna go ahead and throw him I in the back going. yeah come stand why by this vehicle walking that way he's, he's intoxicated you, you, you told me to walk down this road that's what I'm doing no come stand by the back of this vehicle here well, what do you want me to do alright just follow road? me I want you to come yeah. stand at the back of this vehicle yeah, come on geez, huh? I need a beer no you don't I, I need a beer you have anything any on you that would uh, poke, stick me, hurt me? <laughs> I, I don't got nothing in me, but I do have a couple of knives in my pocket. And that's, that's, well, it's in my pocket. Does that count? Yes, it does. You got anything uh, illegal on you? Anything's going to poke me, stick me, weapon, knives, guns, drugs, grenades? No, no, no. I just like my beer, and I'm told that's a disease. No, 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 sir. By, by alrighty, alrighty. American Disabilities Act, you need to give me a beer because I'm an alcoholic. There it is. He looking right, clean yeah. on him. Yeah, he's I'm good. He had a couple pocket knives here. on him. All right, All right go if you want to jump in, I'll get him. Blue Crown Vic here. Okay, is, uh, I better get a beer. I am Come on. Right, just a cigar a on you. Hop All in right, the just back. have a seat in the back run? of my uh, vehicle for me. Let me get hop in. in. Yeah. All right, so the guy in my car was the original uh, suspect in the orange muscle mm-hmm. car. He was then the Pit passenger four, yes. of that the black That was the one I was chasing. Yeah, and then I saw him get out of his car, the orange car, and run into this car, and they fled off. So obviously yeah. that was so this a, is the original. That was a pre-planned um, coordination. Yeah, this is the original suspect here in my vehicle. Right. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I've got the uh, dr- the driver of the uh, links here. Yeah, he's going to be ten fifty five. He's already admitted to drinking. Okay. Yeah, we're probably going to do the same on this guy since they were both there at the same time. You tell me, I'm twenty seven. I'm twenty seven. Go ahead. I have your turn when I. Go ahead. Plate comes back, expired, and Dr. Warren at this moment. Adam 27, Ted 4, Howard Coffee. All right, so just uh, expired. Okay, so you get anything from the, uh, the driver of this vehicle? Uh, he's, About he what says, was going on? Yeah, he says that, because uh, I found the handgun on him. He says that guy gave him the handgun, uh, okay. but your guy is the one that was shooting at us on the highway. Uh, okay. And then he said he was scared. He didn't know what to do. He was told to pick him up, I guess. Well, uh, I'll be honest. The shots didn't happen until they got in this vehicle. Right. So that just tells you. Well, I mean, we don't know 100%. But yeah, no, he had the gun on him. But he says that that guy gave him the gun. Okay. Well, we can talk to this driver and see what he says about it. If no right. one's fessing up to it, then they're both going to be charged with a gun. Yeah. I mean, well, I mean, they're both going to be charged with felony eluding regardless. I mean, yeah, yeah. Felony scared or not, eluding. you don't run for the police, especially the way that he did and endanger everybody yeah. on himself. And then this guy in my vehicle is going to get 1055. I don't know about your guy, but this guy's admitted to drinking. Do we have an officer on scene that could do a FST? CHP can probably. Okay. I'll talk to them. All right. I'm going to talk to this guy over here in my vehicle. See if, what can I get out of this? <laughs> All righty, sir. You were at the uh, car show, weren't you? No, no, I was actually on my way to the car show. But you um, never made it there? I just tur- turned off the highway. Yeah, I was on my way, and then uh, he phoned me, and he's like, hey, turn around, i got to meet up with you. So okay. I turned around, and I parked on the side of the road, and that's when he showed up, got in my car. Um, I saw him pull out his handgun, and he said, just drive, drive, drive. Right, right. And, like, man, like, I honestly, like, I didn't, I didn't want to run, but, like, what would you do? He had a gun. Like, I don't want to piss him off. I thought he might have 
I just met this guy a couple weeks ago at another car show. Yeah. All right. Well, I mean, since you got, like, you guys were both yeah. going to the car show and there's alcohol involved, uh, we're going to have our highway patrol officer. He's going to be giving you a, a breathalyzer. Do you wish to take that breathalyzer? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You, you're not slurring your whatever. speech or anything like that. Doesn't sound like you're impaired. Uh, but I'm just going to be honest with you right now. You're looking at felony eluding right now, amongst some other things, uh, once that investigation gets rolling. Well, I'll have my lawyers. That's fine. Yeah, you have a day in court. Uh, just go ahead and step out. Do me a favor. Step out of the car for me. Yeah. I'm going to go grab the uh, kit. Right All right. Here. Yeah, Perfect. Just, sit, just stay right there. We're going to we're just gonna do a FST on you and get you and uh, get you on your way down to the down to the jail. All right. I'm going to interview you. Uh, All right. Yeah, go ahead. First driver, anything going? What's what, what's going on tonight? Can you explain to me what's what's happening today? Uh, well, first of all, officer, I, I need you to know I am disabled, and you have not made accommodations for me. Okay, how are you disabled? I am an alcoholic, and I need a beer. Okay, that's not a disability that we're going to help you with. Sir, they they said they told me that it was a disability. It was a disease. Therefore, it's disability, and I need proper accommodations. Yeah, we're not getting you a beer. I I, I know what my rights are. Okay. Your your rights are not for me to give you a beer. That's not happening. My wife's going to come punch you in the face for not giving me accommodations. Okay, that's totally fine. Um, so, yeah, what's what's happening today with the car show and, and everything and, and, and taking I, off I was, from us? I was there showing off my car. They told us to leave, and then I tried to leave. They, they acted like I was supposed to stay, and then I didn't know it, and I just, so I just started driving because they just, they didn't want, they told me I had to leave. Well, yeah, we were trying to clear everybody out of that parking lot, but when you left, you almost struck an officer, you hit an officer's vehicle, and you took off, and when that officer was behind you with his lights and sirens going, you kept driving. You, well, str sir, you, I, you I, struck I, me. Really, I, yeah, you struck an officer. Happened, but it it might have happened, but my beer bottle was brown, so I... I Do you think if maybe it, you weren't I, intoxicated, I just, you would have been I, able to I, handle that situation better? Now, if, if I would have had a clear beer bottle, I, I would have been all right, but I, I used this brown one, I couldn't see through it, so... Okay. Uh, do you think if you were not intoxicated, you would have been able to handle that situation better? If, if I was not intoxicated, I would not have a disability. Okay. Uh, so the real, the, the the more important question is who, whose gun is that, that we found? You guys found a gun? What kind? Yeah. There were shots fired from the vehicle. Was it you or him shooting? I, that might have been backfires. I, I don't. I just, Definitely wasn't I, I backfires. Really don't backfires don't leave bullet holes in patrol cars. Yeah. Have you guys searched the vehicle yet? Negative. Uh, I I mean, I don't know. I, I own a lot of guns, but I, I don't think I brought one with me. I mean, they're pretty sure they're all at home. You don't think? You're pretty sure? Uh, well, it's been a long day. I've been doing a lot of drinking. Okay. Do you usually carry a gun with you? Uh, I, I usually carry a fishing pole, and I have my canoe. And but I was I, I was going to the car show, so I didn't need all that stuff. So I don't think I brought. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, right I now, have a bullet hole in my head. Right now, your buddy is telling us that you were the one that was shooting the gun. Why would I be shooting a gun? I'm, you tell me. Well, why don't you ask him? He's the one who told you I was shooting it. I don't know why I'd be shooting. All I know is I need a beer. Okay, well you're not getting a beer. And because no one's fessing up to the gun, you both are going to be charged with it. You're also going to be charged with felony evading, assault on a police officer, damage to government property, um, probably attempted murder. If I mean, we as of right now, we're unclear about who's shooting the gun. If somebody wants to fess up to who owns that gun, we're going to run the serial number, see who it comes back to. If it comes back to you, more than likely you're going to be charged with the attempted murder of a police officer. Um, it's not looking good. So if you want to start telling me what's going on, I can try to help you out. Well, why don't you run that serial number and tell me if it's mine, because I don't rightly know. Okay. All right. Stand by for me. All right, do me a favor. Just have a seat back in the in the uh, car. Everything checked out 0.00, uh, so sorry. you won't be charged with DUI or anything like that. There's some ammunition casings in the, on the floorboard on the passenger side. On the passenger side? Okay. Are these uh, spent or still, um, still ready to use ammo? Shell casings like, are actually yeah. Ammo. yeah they're casings. casings. Oh, okay, okay. Then that's the passenger. Then that would be the the guy that you've got bugs. He he would yeah. That, he, that he, matches the story of my guy saying that he gave him the gun. And yeah, he he's saying that he owns a lot of guns and he is he's very unclear about if he brought his gun to the car meet or not. He all doesn't right. really know. He's been yeah. drinking all day. 
Yeah, he's probably the gunman. Okay, I mean, so let's charge him with um, with the the, the, the shots and everything. Deadly he's going to be the one. Yeah. yeah. Um, can we get a breath test on him too? He says he's been drinking all day. Yeah, that HP uh, officer was. He conducted one of my guy. My guy was okay. He was on okay. his way there, so he hadn't started drinking yet. All right. So your guy's saying that this guy called him and told him to pick him up. Yep, and I guess he didn't know that he was in the middle of a pursuit, and then once he got in the car, and he told him to just go, go, go. He was kind of scared, and then it was just, I guess he had the gun, so he was, you know, kind of strong arming him, strong arming him into the pursuit, but... Okay. I mean, yeah, my guy's not wanting to tell me much of anything. Okay. Yeah, no, my guy, if you have any questions for my guy, he's been very cooperative. Yeah, let me get, try to talk to him okay. and see what's yeah. going on. I want to no figure out who owns this gun. I don't want to have to charge both of them for it. Yeah, no, I hear you. Hey, sir, how's it going? Officer Bugs with the Blaine County Sheriff's Department. Can you answer a couple questions for me? Yeah, man. We're just, we're trying to piece together what's going on here. Obviously, you don't want to get extra charges that you didn't, any to any crimes that you didn't commit. Um, I'm trying to figure out what's, uh, who, who owns this gun? He got in the vehicle. Did he have a gun with I mean, him? He, he's the one that had the gun on him. He entered the vehicle and he pulled it out of his waistband as soon as he got in my car. And that's it. He said, go, go, go. So, all that. And I wasn't. I wasn't gonna fight him on it. But what, and um, he was pointing like the gun at you. Were, well, it was. He said it in a demanding order. He had a gun on him. I wasn't gonna. So you felt like you had no choice. I felt my life was threatened at that point. Okay. Um, and you will be willing to write a statement out and testify that he was in fact holding the gun. Oh yeah. Did oh, he? Yeah. And he shot the gun from the vehicle, correct? Yeah. That he started. Shooting it was loud as hell in my car and he shot my windows so i mean he's got a flag i don't know if he can tack on assault not assault but uh well if property damage i'm yeah i mean that's probably going to be something that's going to be handled in the case but we're we're probably going to tack on uh uh kidnapping if he's holding you if you felt like you had no choice and he was holding a gun and demanding you to do something i mean he was drunk and very demanding uh, I, he was pretty, uh, like, unpredictable, I'll say. And, I, yeah, I felt like my life was threatened. Okay. My life was threatened. All right. Um, okay. Well, uh, we'll be back with you in a second. We're just trying to piece together what's what happened here. Yeah, he's been extremely right, cooperative. I would, uh, he, I mean. He didn't shoot you guys, did you? No, no one's hurt. Hope not. Uh, I don't believe anybody got hurt. We yeah, do no. have some damage to a couple patrol cars. Yep. Okay. Yeah, we're fine. Well, I appreciate the concern. Just uh, stick with us. All right, we're going to try to help you out. All right, thank you. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, he's, it's hard to say. Felony, he's still, I mean, he's driving, felony eluding. Yeah, uh, you, you can, dr yeah, you can he, drop it to resisting arrest, but, I mean, it depends if the other guy takes the, the full blame. And Well, as of right now, this other guy is not cooperating at all. <laughs> no, he's not, not wanting all. to tell me anything. This guy has actually given us parts of the story, so... Yep. If we can help him with, with anything, then let's try to do that. This guy is going to be the one that's going to be charged with most everything. Yep. No, I agree. He hit me with his car, so I have no problem okay. with that. Guys, just be advised, I got a read and back up by 0 point, point zero 0.092.092. Okay. Okay, yeah, he's over the legal limit. All right, sir. You're going to be placed under arrest uh, on a slew of charges, a lot of a lot of things. You're going to be placed under, for uh, felony under, evading, I, driving I'm under the influence. Can't tell me I'm under arrest and not read me my rights. I know my rights. You gotta read me my rights. I'm telling you what you're being arrested for first. You're gonna be arrested for felony evasion, driving under the influence. He was driving. Uh, assault was driving. to a police officer. You were driving the orange vehicle. We can confirm that. Um, assault on a police officer. Assaulted government property. Attempted murder. Uh, dangerous or deadly discharge of a firearm. Uh, possibly kidnapping. So, yeah, you're going to be charged you know, with a lot. You know, I, I, I read newspaper and people who are disabled like me especially. I see how the courts work. You're going to put all these charges on me. They're going to cite me for something like failure to obey traffic control device or something as a plea bargain. And I'm going to walk out of there with a $175 ticket. And then my wife is going to come punch you in the face for being mean to my dis dislabeled, dis 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 disabled body. Okay, well, I don't think any court is going to cite that being a alcoholic is a disability. Well, that's what they told me in my meetings. 
that I am disabled. Okay. Well, that doesn't give you the right to just go around and and do whatever. But I you still committed those crimes. You're still going to be charged with those crimes. And as long as one of those sticks, I mean, some of them no, we we're not sure if all of them are going to be able to to stick. Um, it all depends on what what goes down in the uh, the statements and everything, but. You got a lot of charges coming, so you're gonna have to fight every single one of those. But you are gonna be placed under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have a right to an attorney. Do you understand these rights I just read to you? Ah, uh, for for now, I guess. Okay. I I, I really need a beer, so I remember them. Yeah, you're not getting a beer. Adam twenty seven. Go twenty seven. Ten fifteen. One subject. Yeah, I'm gonna take right, I'll, I'll go ahead and take care of the car, take some pictures, and uh, I'll, I'll get it out of here. Call the 50. I've, uh, I've got the, um, uh, the shell casings bagged up already. I gotta try to get to a gas station. Um, yeah, me too. <laughs> Alright, Adam 81 dispatch. Go 81. Show uh, me 1015 with one to the station. 10 